Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get right into this. Guardian Angel, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Guardian Angels, Sunday Masters, please protect me and divine light. I just said to this reading for Taurus. Show me clear and honest messages for Taurus. seeing that ace of wands so you could be dealing with a fire sign but we'll see um, but if you are coming back welcome back if you are new here welcome just so you're aware i do not read reversals so if you see the card come out in reverse i will flip it upright this is just how i have always read tarot just so you're aware so let's see spirit how does this person feel about taurus how does this person feel about taurus Okay, wow. So we're getting the Empress and the Nine of Wands. So your energy here, Taurus. I feel like this, <laughs> I mean, when the Divine Feminine comes out, it doesn't mean you have to be a female, but this person just sees you as it. Like, there's no better than you. Um, you know, I always like to say the, the Empress has 12 stars on, on her crown, and I'm using the pronouns her, but again, it, there's no gender in tarot. Um, representing all the zodiacs, she's a little bit of everything right but i almost feel like that's like what intimidates this person a little bit because there's there's a bit of a guard up i feel like this person sees you taurus as you you're the best of the best you could have anyone you want you could go anywhere you want to go you can do whatever you want they just see you as someone who's not only very physically attractive but your mind is attractive i feel like they see you as a go-getter a hard worker you're very abundant um if you already have children, they see you as very um, like loving and caring and understanding towards your child or your children if you don't. Um, and this is something in the future that you see yourself having. I feel like this person sees you as a very good parent. Um, again, either now or in the future. I just feel like this person is just like Taurus is it. But I feel like that's why this Nine of Wands is coming out as well. It's almost like they feel guarded because they wonder if honestly I just heard if they're good enough um, so there could be some self-esteem issues here that this person has I mean I feel like we all have self-esteem issues at times depending on the situation like context but I feel like this person cares about you so much but also is a little bit like almost intimidated by you um, Wow yeah lots of messages coming through there let's see tell me about this nine of wands please spirit I feel like this person can, um, they've been through a lot, right? This is like the wounded warrior. This is someone who has been hurt before. They're not giving up, but this is someone who, um, you know, can have their guard up. This person, I feel like, feels this way about you a little bit too, Taurus. I feel like they see you as someone who only lets certain people in. Like, you may not even have, like, a very big friend group. Um, I feel like you're very selective with your energy so again i feel like that goes into this person feeling like am i good enough for taurus and of course if you're connecting with this person like you feel like i don't feel like you see the <laughs> you don't see yourself as above other people taurus this person sees you as that though so even if you are spending time with them and messaging them and hanging out with them and giving them your energy they still wonder am i am i good enough for taurus's energy because they they can see that you're i feel like you are very selective with who you um engage with as well but oh okay so we're getting the two of swords and the three of pentacles for that nine of wands so yeah i just feel like this person it's like they want to understand what you need as well and are willing to give it they want to work as a team here but again the indecision here comes from the i feel like they're all up in their head they feel like i honestly it, it's coming off as like self-esteem 
self-worth issues. And it's funny because this person might not even show that. You might be thinking, this person's super confident. Um, but it, I mean, confident, <laughs> there's, I've been, I've been watching this show. If you see, if you've been watching my readings, you know I've been watching the show Euphoria, but there's a, there's a quote in Euphoria that one of the characters says, you know, life is all about confidence and the thing is about confidence, no one knows if it's real or not, right? And I feel like that's what this person does. Like you, you might be sitting there again, like, no, there's no way, I don't think that's my person, but I feel like on the inside, they, they wonder a lot about, um, Honestly, if they're worthy of you. Anything else about that nine of wands? The five of pentacles, yeah. Like, are they gonna be left out? Are they gonna be abandoned by you? Are they gonna be, you know, put put out into the cold because you'll find something better? That's that's honestly what I'm getting from this. I feel like this person, so if you feel like this person is indecisive at times, maybe about you or the commitment or what have you, but still is connecting with you, like it, it it's a little bit, um, they're not fully in, but they're not fully out, is what I'm getting. Tell me about the Empress, please, Spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. Look at that. You're getting the Six of Cups and um, the Star. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius here. Um, this could be someone from your past, right, with that Six of Cups. If not, I feel like this person, you just... Okay, and when I say the... Sorry, I need to clarify. So thank you, Spirit. Um, when I say the past, this could be someone from this lifetime, right? Someone from your childhood, someone you dated earlier in life, someone you just knew earlier in life that you kind of always had, you know, a feeling. Maybe they, they had a crush on you or something like that. This could be a full-on relationship from the past. But when I say the past with the Six of Cups, this can also mean you've had past lives with this person, right? So this is someone that you were bound to be connected to um, in this lifetime because it's just part of your journey and part of their journey right and we often um, it, Usually this is like so this is like soulmate energy, right? The two of cups hasn't come out yet But I won't be surprised if it does in this reading because I feel that's what I'm getting from this. I feel like um, This you, you make this per this person feels familiar already or you feel familiar to them um, and there's this sense of almost like puppy love too, like with that six of cups is what I'm getting. Like it's, it's sweet, it's innocent. I feel like um, the star here, there's also a very healing energy about you, Taurus, that this person really enjoys, that they, um, it's interesting because I feel like there's things coming up for them that they're thinking about and that they're feeling that they've known, they've had to deal with, but they've kind of avoided. And I feel like you're bringing it out of them in the best way. Like they're realizing like, I need to work on, you know, my negative thinking or what have you, because I feel like you're very encouraging. I just feel like your energy is very healing here. I feel like this person is very hopeful that this connection will continue, but, but there is that hesitancy because they feel like it's to do with them and how they feel about themselves. And again, what's really being highlighted here with the stars, like you can feel like sometimes this person's like one foot in and one foot out, like all emotional, like all in, and then sometimes they pull back. And I feel like it's because they start to feel, they feel very strongly about you, Taurus. I just have to, they feel very strongly about you. Like they, you know, I, it feels like they need you. Like that's what I'm getting from this. Beautiful energy here. The way this person feels about you is just, it's so strongly, but I feel like their own mind gets in the way. So heavy Taurus and Aquarius energy, but there's also Virgo and Capricorn as well. We'll see what else comes out. So let's see this person's actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions will this person take towards Taurus? Look at that, the Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, this person wants to establish long-term with you. They want it all. They, they're they not looking for a six-month fling or a year or like a year relationship or like what have you. Like this person wants to build with you. Um, if you haven't had conversations about children, if that's part of your journey, I think this person sees that with you. I feel like they see you as someone who's very stable, very grounded as well, especially financially. I feel like you're very responsible. This person wants to build here with you. Wow. Like you're getting, you're getting the, the 10 right away. That's what this person wants with you. They want long term. They want, they see it all with you. 
You could have even had conversations about moving in or even getting a pet. Anything else for this person's actions? They're laying the groundwork right now too, I feel. And look at that, the Eight of Pentacles. Like it, it's very much, as soon as I said that, laying the groundwork. Like I feel like it's, there's a lot of um, getting to know each other. There's a lot of understanding. There's putting in that practical work, like going on those dates, you know, having those conversations, like understanding each other. Because I feel like this person, they see long-term with you. So they're really, tr they're trying to like see what makes, what makes Taurus like tick? Like what, what keeps you going? What are you passionate about? What, what's your drive? What's your story? Like they want to know everything about you and they want to share with you too. I do feel like this person's a little hesitant though, um, just because of their past there. But yeah, this person wants to put in the work here. I feel like they're willing to work on whatever needs to be worked on. So if you've already been with this person and they, they are from your past, like you've been with them for a long time or you know, there was a separation period and you're coming back together, like whatever it might be, I feel like this person's willing to put the work in is what I'm getting. I feel like you're both very down to earth as well. Like you're very, there's this sense of knowing how the universe works, how the world works. Like, you know, we're here to enjoy our experience. We're here to, to experience love and joy and adventure and, um, you know, of course, there's responsibilities that we have within the world, but that, that it's bigger than that. There's a bigger picture, and I feel like you both understand that. Um, anything else for this person's actions, please, Spirit? I feel like this person's also working very hard at their job because I feel like they, they're they very much a provider, I'm getting. You're getting the Ace of Swords. They could also be another, they could be another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's going to be some sort of conversation here, Taurus. So if you, again, if there was a separation period or you haven't been talking to this person for whatever, or you've just kind of felt like a, maybe like a stagnancy, if you're in a relationship with this person, what have you, there's going to be a conversation. This is clarity. This is truth. And this is almost like the universe, like nudging them to do it, right? Like they're, they're going to speak their truth here. And I feel like their truth is that they feel very strongly about you. They want something long-term here with you and they're willing to put the work in. So expect conversation here for sure. Um, we're getting the f oh, the five of wands and the emperor. Look at that. You have the divine feminine and the divine masculine. I'm pretty sure this came out in your last reading too, Taurus. So Aries energy here. I feel like this person is fighting themselves. Like I feel like they're very much in their divine masculine. You know, that leader that takes action, that, you know, they want to come forward. They're going to have this conversation. They're going to do the practical work. But the emperor is also someone who doesn't always show their feelings right doesn't sh again with the confidence thing like i feel like there's like an inner battle going on here right but you have this divine match like this is I, i'm getting chills all over again this is not male female so um if your person you know doesn't mean they have to be a male to be in their divine masculine because we all have masculine feminine energy this is just this someone who might be a little bit more closed off right um but a leader, someone who takes action. I'm going to pull on this five of wands because I'm feeling like this is like an internal battle, but I just want to make sure. Tell me about that five of wands, please, spirit. I feel like they'll, okay, I don't know if you saw that, but the fool was trying to come out, but we will see if it comes out again. Um, tell me about the five of wands, please, spirit. And thank you for the messages. The nine of cups. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like this is an internal battle here. They have their wish fulfillment right in front of them, which is you, Taurus but I feel like they're fighting with themselves. Are they good enough? You know, are they worthy? Are they um, gonna be left out, you know, by you, Taurus? I, I, that's where the fear is coming from. That's where the insecurity is coming from. So I feel like this person might even, I don't think they'll, they might not say it in those words, but I feel like they could say something along the lines of, you know, sometimes I wonder like, maybe you'll find someone better than me. And I feel like Taurus, you'd be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> we go great together. You know, I care about you. Like, I feel like that, and it comes as a surprise to you again, because I feel like this person's confidence on the outside is very strong. You are their wish fulfillment. You're getting the nine of cups, the 10 of pentacles. Spirit just showed me you have the eight, nine, 10 here. You're getting synchronicities too. Like there's gonna be a conversation here. 
I don't think this person will, you know, spill their guts all out all at once. But I feel like the more the more that you build together, the more comfortable you become with each other over time and like building this foundation together, the more they're going to reveal to you like, yeah, sometimes I don't always feel that great about myself. And like, I see you as everything. So we have Aries energy here, Taurus, Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn, a little bit of air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see this person's intentions. What is this person's intentions towards Taurus, please, Spirit? Okay, so we're getting the devil, Capricorn energy. Tell me about this devil card, please. Okay, they're asking me to go to the other deck, so I will. Usually when I go to the other deck, there's um, cards that are already on the board that need to come out again. But we will see. I'm feeling like this is... I'm feeling like this is the, the fear coming in that they're trying to alleviate, that they're trying to work on, but we'll see. Tell me about this devil card, please, Spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. Tell me about this devil card, please, Spirit. It's almost like they're afraid to say it, too. Okay, so we're getting the Nine of Wands again. We're getting the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. So you're getting 9-9 nine, nine here. And you're getting 8-9-10 again. I feel like this person... I feel like this is weighing really heavy on them. I feel like they, if you feel like this person's been really inconsistent here, I feel like, um, like just times where you just feel like, are like, what are they, do? okay, if there's been instances where this person has ended the connection and, but you've reconnected and they've done this, they've done this before I feel like this person is almost like stuck here in this mindset. It, it, you're getting the nine of wands again. I just feel like this person is a wounded warrior. I feel like they've been through a lot here. Um, tell me about this eight of cups, please, spirit. I feel like they're trying. Tell me about this eight of cups, please, spirit. The seven of swords, yeah. The eight of swords, yeah. So you're getting eight, eight now, and you're getting seven. I feel like this person, if they walked away from you before, or if they do that, I feel like they're, they're it's like a mask that they're putting on. I almost feel like they're, and this is, this is not okay behavior, I have to say this, especially with this devil card here. It's a little bit of toxicity. I'm not gonna lie here, Taurus. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I feel like this person, um, could be the type to be like, you know what, I'm done. And then their intention behind saying that is to get you to chase after them. And some of you might, some of you might be like, okay, I know better. This person's just being emotional right now. And some of you might be like, I'm not dealing with that. And I'm not here to tell you which is right or which is wrong. I just feel like this person is all up in their head. I feel like they're self-sabotaging. And I feel like this is something that um, they're doing because they don't feel good about themselves is what I'm getting here. Tell me about this Knight of Wands, please, Spirit. I feel like it's like, thank you, the Ace of Pentacles. This is what I'm saying. I feel like it's like they want a fresh new beginning here with you, but it's not consistent. I feel like you feel, I feel like you feel, Taurus, like this person... I'm getting like nervous right now. Like I have anxiety and I have anxiety for no reason. Like I have no reason to feel that way. And I feel like this person, it's coming with this ace of pentacles with this fresh new beginning, right? It's like, that's what this person wants with you. They see you as a perfect match here, but I feel like their intentions are almost like, it's not even them. Like, I feel like this is a mindset. This is a fear. This is something that they feel has control of them, which is this low self-worth I feel. and. The idea of being in something 
new and that's actually going to stick around is scary. I feel like there's a large fear of abandonment here too. Anything else for this person's intentions? The hanged man, Pisces energy. Like it's like they're trying to see things in a different way here. Gaining a new perspective, right? Like trying to see things differently, trying to see that you are it, trying to see that they can work on this, they can have it all, you know, they can have this perfect Taurus in their life and they are worth it. But I do feel like this is, I mean, this, this is a blockage, right? We all have this in some way, or we've all gone through this in some way, right? This is um, a negative mindset. This is saying everyone's gonna hurt me. This is saying everyone's gonna leave me. Um, always having walls up. That's what this is coming off to me as. And it weighs heavy on this person, it does. Anything else, Spirit, about this person's intentions? We have the Knight of Cups and the Fool. This one's like this person, it's like they're going back and forth. This person wants a brand new beginning here with you. Aries energy here, taking that leap of faith. Like there's a huge part of them that says, take that leap of faith, you know, offer that cup of love, go on those dates, like do it, just let yourself go, like don't worry. But there's this, it's almost like this is always in the background. It's almost like if you have a perfect day with this person, excuse me, and I feel like this could be difficult for this person to say this with my throat kind of acting up as soon as I was talking about it, but it's almost like as soon as you could have a perfect day with this person and then say if you leave, you leave their home or wherever you were hanging out and um, you know, I'll message you when I get home. And then normally it takes you what, I don't know, half an hour to get home. But instead it, it takes you an hour because there's a car crash or because, y you know, on the road or because you ran out of gas and you stopped it and then you get home at that hour. I feel like when you tell that person, hey, I'm home, like, you know, this car crash or whatever happened or on the road and it was crazy, but I'm home now, I'm safe, I'm good. The first thought that this person might have is, you know, what were they doing? Like what, like something bad is what I'm getting. So it's like this automatic like negative thinking that comes up. That's what it's that's what it's coming across to me. And I feel like this person removes themselves emotionally at times, so it's like a protective measure. But what this person wants is like a brand new beginning here with you. They want to leave all that in the past. They want to have a new perspective here because this weighs heavy on them. I don't feel like this is just with you, Taurus. I feel like this is like in their life in general. Like they could be a very anxious person, um, someone who overthinks quite a bit, someone who's in their head a lot. But when they walk away, if they have before, it's it's a cover up. I feel like it's them. It's because they're all up in their head here. So just be aware of this, Taurus. It's coming out for a reason. Right? Like I feel like their intentions here are, are being run by a mindset that they feel out of control of. This could be, you know, when you have when you think about negative mindsets, they are not just they don't just happen this is something that takes a very long time to to be created so i feel like um you know this could be because of of trauma childhood trauma of someone telling them they're not good enough their whole life um you know constantly being uh you know maybe they were bullied very badly or perhaps like i'm not I, i'm i'm just trying to pick up what this could be let me just tell me more about the devil please because i feel like it's it's quite heavy to be honest with you Tell me a bit more about the devil, please, spirit. Thank you. Yeah, there's some like there's something that's not finished here. I feel like they need to overcome this. Like I feel like they there's something that they haven't resolved just yet. So again, if there was like a traumatic childhood experience or like multiple experiences, I feel like that cycle needs to be closed out. This is something that they're working on. I do feel that, but it's almost like that's at the forefront here. What they want is a brand new beginning, but it's like, it's scary to them is what is honestly what's coming out. So let's see the potential outcome. What is the potential outcome between Taurus and this person, please spirit? The tower. 
Scorpio energy. This is this doesn't surprise me because I feel like whatever's whatever's happening isn't working anymore. Right? So if you haven't met this person yet, it's coming out of nowhere. But also I feel like this mindset that they have is is not working for them anymore. Something's gotta give, something's gotta change. Right? This is the universe intervening. And that's why I was getting like this healing energy from you, Taurus. I feel like meeting you and being with you is really helping this person become aware of things that I feel like they kind of knew about themselves but didn't really deal with. So expect the unexpected here again if you haven't met this person yet but if you know exactly who I'm talking about and you un and you can kind of feel that they have this mindset I feel like a change is happening here. It has to. This is this is part of like I said your journey their journey. Tell me more about the potential outcome please spirit. Thank you. The Four of Cups coming out of nowhere here. The Four of Pentacles, you're getting 4-4. Four, four. You have synchronicities all throughout your reading here. Tell me more about the potential outcome, please. Thank you. The Five of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. I feel like here, Taurus, like... I feel like Spirit's asking you, don't, you know... It's hard when you love someone, right? But don't let, um, just remember boundaries is what I'm gonna say. Just remember boundaries, right? Because you're very, like I said, you're, I feel like you're a very caring, understanding individual, but if boundaries are crossed, boundaries are crossed, right? And it doesn't mean we have to be mean. It doesn't mean we have to, you know, punish people for that, but just making them aware, I feel like is very important. Because I do feel like this person, um, honestly, I feel like at times they can be kind of pessimistic. I have to say it. Anything else about the potential outcome here? I, like that five of pentacles is coming out again. Like there's just like this fear of abandonment. But look at that. You're getting death, rebirth. So more Scorpio energy. Like there's transformation happening here. It's just not going to happen overnight is what I'm getting. The knight of swords. It's almost like this person knows something needs to change here. I almost feel like this person could suddenly like, there's that devil again and the chariot moving past it. So cancer, uh, Cap Capricorn energy here, trying to move away from this, right? Trying to move away from this energy, from this mindset here. Justice and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, like like balance here. Balance. Stepping into that confidence. The Queen of Wands is confident, right? Like, again, there's no gender. I feel like becoming more stable here. Not all, And honestly, even financially as well, like this person could, could be stepping into that. But I also just feel like trying to balance the mind here is what I'm really getting. Moving away from this everyone sucks or everyone's going to hurt me or everyone's going to abandon me mindset and realizing like Taurus isn't going anywhere. Let's try and get some more clarity here for you Taurus. Spirit messages for Taurus please. Whoa. Look at that. Lily, spiritual love. There's a deep connection between the two of you here. We got career. We got grapes. Time to go out and have fun. As soon as I picked that up, I feel like you might even have to encourage this person at times. Like, let's go out. Let's go even go for a walk or let's do it. Because I feel like this person can, can get so much in their head at times that they just... They can shut down completely is what I'm getting. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Okay, so that could be this person. We got May. We got Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. I honestly feel like that's this person. Dog barking, advice from a friend. An elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Okay, I feel like there's, yeah. Like there's one more and there it is major challenge to overcome mountain yeah I just it doesn't mean it's impossible though right think about all the people who've climbed the mountains that look like they're impossible to climb and they're not 
that's just a metaphor, but you know what I mean. Um, oh, okay. We got Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. We got Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. So again, boundaries. That's what's coming to mind here for me. And then we got Sun, happiness and well-being. Like I do feel like there is potential here. It's just what's coming out majorly in the next bit, the, the outcome here is that this mindset needs to be balanced, needs to be moved past here. We have grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. And then we have obstacles to overcome. So you're getting multiple cards saying the same thing, like there's obstacles here. But that doesn't mean it's impossible. And it's, it's your choice, Taurus, right? Like if you're, again, if you're sitting there like, no, you know, I've given this person chances or this is not for me, then so be it. But um, Everyone's journey is different. I do feel like there's hidden messages here for you, Taurus. So let me just uh, get some here for you. Messages for Taurus, please, Spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. We got, I hope that you can forgive me one day. We got, I know I messed up everything. So this is what I'm saying. Like this person is well aware, especially if you've had history with this person, um, Taurus. This person knows, they're, I, I do feel like they're working on it, but it's not something that changes overnight. The timing just wasn't right for us. And I love you. That card doesn't come out often, Taurus. I feel like there's one more. I can't stop thinking about you. I feel like there is one more after that. Messages for Taurus, please, Spirit, thank you. I bury myself in work to forget you. So if you are separated from this person right now, or even like there's a, there feels like there's a distance. Yeah. I feel like, um, this person's busy at work doing that. I'm trying to get their mind off of you, Taurus. Whoa. Okay. So we got meditation brings answers and we got not the right time. Right, so right now, remember, energy is fluid. So I could be reading something that's already happened to you recently. I could be, or not even recently, I could be reading what's happening right now. This could be future energy. Like, just remember, take it as it resonates. But there's just this energy of, it just wasn't the right time at some point with the two of you. Or maybe it's not the right time right now. But let's see what else comes out. Step out of your comfort zone. Meditate and contemplate. So you're getting two cards of meditation, right? And first, I always like to say, you know, um, and what do you need to release? Um, when it comes to meditation, if you've never done so before, it can seem you know, like I don't want to sit there for an hour and close my eyes and hum or whatever. And that doesn't have to be it, right? Meditation can simply be just taking some space away from electronics and, and everyone else and going into your quiet space for five minutes, right? And just really connecting to that higher self that we all have. Um, and then often it, by clearing your mind, answers will come in. Right? We are so powerful. We have everything right here at our disposable. There's nothing out there for, you know, the answers aren't out there. They're all within. You just have to be quiet your mind and quiet yourself and go in. And it's not easy, but with practice, it gets easier. Let's see. Spirit, messages for Taurus, please. Thank you for the messages so far. Thank you. Oh, they said one more. Messages for Taurus, please, Spirit. Thank you. Okay. So we have all that glitters, number 16, and we have loyal heart, number 35. So I'm going to read both of these for you. All that glitters came out first. So 
We got, this is a signal to walk away from what you're contemplating. There is a thin veneer of glitter and sparkle that masks something rotten underneath. Pursuing it will only bring about a difficult situation you will be sorry you got yourself into. Stay away. Isn't it wonderful how spirit protects you? Better things await. Okay. And then we also got 35, loyal heart. Your partnerships, friendships, and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. Honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are being shown to you. Are you as loyal in return? Now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection. Okay, I'm also feeling drawn to read the oracle message, so I will. Evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove they are faithful to you and you will in turn commit fully to them. There is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart. Know that spirit is always loyal to you. No matter the outer circumstances in your life, trust and have faith for you are eternally loved, always divinely protected and divinely directed. Okay, that's a really beautiful message there, Taurus. So let's see. So these could be initials of you, this person, um, numbers you've been seeing, take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got C, C again, I, U, the number one, and the number three. Okay, Taurus, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so much for all your beautiful energy. Love and light.